Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to configure dynamic routing protocols in Cisco ASA firewall. For this demo, I am going to use OSPF routing protocol. This is the topology I am going to use for this lab. Here I am using three routers and one ASA firewall. I have already configured routers and ASA firewalls interfaces with IP addresses. Now we are going to see how to configure dynamic routing in Cisco ASA firewall. In my previous video, we have already seen how to configure dynamic routing using RIP protocol. But in this video, we are going to see how to configure dynamic routing using OSPF routing protocol. In OSPF, this network topology will be split into multiple areas. This OSPF area is logical grouping of routers. We can say like this. It is a logical grouping of routers interfaces. These two interfaces, we can say it as one OSPF area. And these interfaces, we can say it as one area. And these two interfaces, we can consider as one OSPF area. Now we can say from this topology, we can split three areas. But for our demo, I am going to use single area. All these three routers, I will use it as a sing single area. To configure OSPF, we are going to use these three commands. The first command is router OSPF and then process ID. This one is the process ID. This process ID will start from range from 1 to 65,535. Any positive integer number we can use. This command will enable OSPF process. This process ID no need to be identical in different routers. It can be different in different routers. The next command is router ID. This router ID will be useful in identifying the OSPF router in OSPF routing domain. By default, it will OSPF process will dynamically allocate the router ID in this order. The first priority is the highest loopback interface IP address. If there is no loopback interface available for that router, it will choose the highest physical IP address available for that router. But setting the manual router ID is helpful in troubleshooting and it will reduce the link state advertisements LSTs. This router ID is a 32-bit number. So we can give like this. The next command is network statement. Before seeing this command, the first command router OSPF process ID. This command will initialize the OSPF process, but the network statement command it will identify the interfaces that OSPF process will use. Also, it will identify the area that interfaces participate. In this command, network, then this is the IP address. And then this is not subnet mask. This is wildcard mask bit and area and area number. Network, IP address, wildcard mask. This is not subnet mask. This is directly opposite to subnet mask and area and area ID. Now we will see how to configure OSPF routing protocol in all the routers and ASA firewall. I'll open the console of router one. This is router one console. Here we can see we have already configured this router with IP address. In continuation to our previous video, we have already configured this router and ASA firewall with RIP routing protocol. Now, before configuring OSPF, I'm going, I'm going to remove this RIP from my all the routers and ASA firewall. To remove RIP routing protocol, I'll go to configuration modes. The command is no router RIP. I'll use this command in all the three routers. I'll go to router two. I'll go to router three. 
I'll move to ASA firewall. Here the command is clear, configure, router, rip. Now we will go and verify these router rip configurations are removed from all our routers and ASA firewall. I'll use the show route command here in firewall. Here we can see router rip, the rip, rip routing protocol is removed from the routing table. The same way I'll go to router one. Here also I'll use the command show IP route. Here also we can see the rip routing protocol is removed from the routing table of router one. Now we will configure OSPF in all the three routers. I'll go to configuration mode in router one. The first command is router OSPF and the process ID, I'll give one. The next command is router ID. Router ID for router one, I'm going to give 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. The next command is network. For router one, here we can see in the topology interface G00 and other loop bag two interfaces. These three interfaces we are going to configure OSPF. So these three networks I will use for use in this command. First interface G00, 192.168.1.0. I'll put question mark, wildcard bits. Instead of subnet mask, here we have to, in OSPF, we have to use the wildcard wild card bits. This wildcard bits are directly opposite to subnet mask. So instead of 255, 255, 255.0, I'll use 0.0.0.255. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and the next we have to use area, command is area. Here we are going to use the single area, so I'll give area zero. Next, I'm going to enable OSPF in loopback zero interface of router one. So 192.168.2.0. Next, next interface loopback one. The IP address is 3.0. The network is 3.0. I'll save these configurations. Now we can check the interface OSPF configurations using this command. Show IP OSPF interface brief. In this command, we can see these three interfaces are configured with OSPF interface loopback 0, 1, and G0 slash 0. Still neighbor should be formed that we are going to configure in ASA and other routers and process ID is one and the area we have configured is zero and the IP addresses also we can check here. Next I'll go to router two. The first command is router OSPF one router ID router ID here. For router 2, I'll use 2.2.2.2 and network command. In router 2, we are going to enable these three interfaces, interface G00 and interface loopback 0 and loopback 1. So network 15.1.1.0. Wildcard bits 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 and area 0. Next two interfaces are twenty dot one dot one dot zero 
and loopback one interface is 30.1.1.0. Now we have successfully configured OSPF in router two. We can check here, so IP OSPF interface brief command. These three interfaces are configured with OSPF. Now I'll go to router three. The command is router OSPF process ID one and router ID for router three. I'm going to do 3.3.3 .3 and network command. I'm going to enable into going to enable OSPF in route, router 3's G00 interface and loopback 0 interface. Uh, the, network, uh, the network address is 172.16.1.0.0.0.255. We have to do area. Area zero and for loopback interface also we have to enable OSPF. The network ID is 2.0. Now we have successfully enabled the OSPF in router 3. I'll save these configurations and we can check the show IP. OSP of interface brief command here. Here we can see we have successfully enabled OSPF in loopback zero and G00 interface. Now I'll go to ASA firewall. Till now, the, all the routers are not formed neighborship with uh, ASA firewall. Now we will configure OSPF in ASA firewall. The command is router OSPF process ID one router ID. I'll give twenty five dot twenty five dot twenty five dot twenty five for AC firewall. Now we will configure network. We will enable OSPF in. These three interfaces G00, G01, and G02. And first G00, 192, 168, 1.0. In ASA firewall, there is no concept of wildcard mask. So here we can directly use the subnet mask 255, 255, 255.0. Area 0. Next, we are going to enable in interface G01, 15.1.1.0. Next, interface G02, 172 172.16.1.0. 172.16.1.0. I'll save these configurations. Now I'll go to router one. In the notifications, we can see the neighborship relationship is formed with neighbor 25.25.25.25. That is the router ID of our ASA firewall. So router one is form neighborship, OSP of neighborship with ASA firewall. The same way router two also form neighborship relationship with ASA. And router three also, we can see the notification. It formed the OSPF neighborship with ASA firewall. And I'll go to router one. We'll check the ISO IP OSPF interface brief command. Here we can see the now the interface G00 is formed neighbors. Under neighbors, we can see I'll use the show IP OSPF neighbor command. Here we can see the neighbor ID. 
this neighbor id is our router id of asa firewall it made a neighbor relationship with asa firewall we'll go to the routing table show ip route ospf here we can see all the routes lan by router one using the ospf routing protocol now i will go to asa firewall we'll check the right routing table from here show route here we can see the ospf routes are lan from asa firewall so now we can ping all the low pack interfaces of router one router two router three from asa firewall so i'll ping router one loopback interface ip address 192.168.2.1 it is working fine the same way this is also loopback one interface of router one next i'll ping the ip address of router three loopback interfaces it is also working fine now i'll ping the Low back interface of router 2 that is 20.1.1.2. It is also working fine. Another interface, low back interface IP address from router 2 30.1.1.2. It is also fine. This is how we have to configure dynamic routing using OSPF in Cisco ASA firewall. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.